Literally this whole field right here is covered with beetles. Let's begin. Welcome back to Mars for another action figure review. Today we have a figure I'm sure a lot of you are excited for and probably your most anticipated figure of the year. Of course I'm talking about the ninja prodigy of the Uchiha clan bloodline Sasuke Uchiha. In the community a lot of folks have been upset with the scaling of this figure as well as Naruto that they're too tall. For me personally I believe Tomashi Nations made the best decision engineering wise so that we can get these figures in the poses we want to get them in. You know, if you have a kid Goku size figure, you're not going to be able to strike all those dynamic poses. So my opinion on the scaling for this figure is that it is what it is. Enjoy the figure and let's move on. Secondly, would I recommend you this figure? Well, the answer is an obvious yes. If you're a Naruto fan, which I'm sure you are, that's why you clicked on this video. By the way, drop a like for Mars. So yes, if you're a Naruto fan, this is definitely worth a pickup. Look at everything you're getting. You are getting five faceplates. You're getting the flame ball effect, the Chidori effect. You're going to be getting the wind shuriken accessory, Hunan accessory, and plus all the swappable pairs of hands. So yes, this is a solid release for Tamashi Nations and definitely worth your money go pick it up. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the figure. Now I do have a paint blemish that you may be able to see here besides the um, the Leaf Village logo. There you go, you can see it there. So that's this one little KC issue I ran into and I will say that the arms and legs or the forearms and calves to be more precise they're just a little off to me. You know, the forearms kind of, they don't go straight down. They go at an angle, as you can kind of tell. It's all, it makes it feel like the, the figure is warped because of the forearms. And definitely down here at the calves. It was the same issue I had with the Naruto figure. The way they do their calves and then like, for their ankles and feet, it all comes together, I'm sorry. <laughs> You may not be able to see it here on camera, but in person you can definitely see it. So those are like my only gripes with this figure, which isn't really much to talk about, right? So let's go ahead and get into the articulation. So Sasuke can look down this much. He can look up this much. He can lean side to side. And he can rotate to the left and rotate to the right. Now, the head does not spin all the way around, not that that matters, but I will show you something that's pretty cool with this release. It seems that Tamashii Nations has decided to build a better connection between the collector and the figure itself, because now, to swap out your faceplates, you're actually having to remove the head sculpt and then swap out your faceplates. Now, I don't know if this was intentional or what. Well, I'm sure it was intentional, but hopefully they continue this trend, because I will say, Oh, here, let me show you real quick. Oh, all right, so there you go. So that's how you put it on. And then just snap it back. Booyah. No issues there. Now, I will say with the Gojo release, when you go to swap out his faceplates, his eye bands do not really synchronized or like a little gap so it's not perfect okay but this may be the perfect alternative so that we have those face plates and that they make perfect sense it aligns perfectly with the figure and everything is just synchronized that's what i'm looking for and tamashi nation has definitely delivered that with sasuke now moving down into the arms here we go here and by the way this is a soft plastic okay it looks like the head didn't stay on 
So this is a, I mean, hard plastic, and it can move around, and you can actually take off, take off the neck too, and the collar. So you can like completely disassemble these figures, which is a nice option to have, especially in the future if they're gonna have interchangeable parts that you can do, because now they have the add-on parts. T pose he can hit. He is double jointed. There is a butterfly joint there as well. Now the arm doesn't really rotate all the way around. Okay, there it goes. So the arm can rotate all the way around. You've got your bicep swivel, of course. And then the wrist does rotate and it does hinge. Now as I get into the wrist, see how it is. One thing with this figure I've noticed are the gaps. If you look at the elbows here, there's a gap. You can see on the gap on the elbows. You can see through the figure. The same with the the hands too. Like the hands, when you swap on the hands, it just doesn't look too great. It could definitely be better, in my opinion. There's a closer reference here for you. See the gap, and then the gap there as well. The knees, the knees are safe, but there are like minor gaps there too. Again, they did what was best for the figure for us. So, getting into the upper torso, he can tuck in this much, which isn't too great. And then lean back this much. At the waist, he can go all the way here. And then leaning back all the way here as well. So looking at the back of the figure, you're gonna get your um, ninja kit, ninja pouch. It does move around, so you can and you can take it off as well. So that's pretty cool. All right, so yeah, that, now we're just getting into the legs again. As you, you can see it here, right? Like the legs are just kind of weird with these releases. You see how the legs are. So hopefully, you know, they work on that as time goes on. We'll have to see. The same thing was with Naruto. Kakashi, not so much so. But he's more, he's got bigger proportions, especially on his legs there. So can he do a split? Oh yeah, per look at that. Great split. Yeah, the articulation for Tamashii Nations has come a long way at long way double jointed knees you have your leg swivel as well um let's see the foot does rotate it does hinge out and there's a toe pivot as well all right and then that will do it for the articulation let's go ahead and move into the accessories all right, to kick off the accessories, we're gonna start with the face plates. So here we have here Sasuke, just a normal face plate here. Again, to switch these out, you just pull this down, grab your next one. Oops. And then that's it, easy peasy. And with that, we have the fire style face plate, fire style fireball. Next up, we have the Neutral faceplate, looking good. The shocked faceplate or aggravated faceplate. And then lastly, stage two shotting gun. Moving into the swappable hands, we have the closed fist to start off. So next up is the gripping hands. Then we have our Fire style flame ball hands, jutsu hands here. Here we have his karate chopping hands or waving hands. We have our fireball jutsu hands. Here are the thumb pointing hands, or I'm pretty sure these are the wind shuriken hands as well to throw the wind shuriken. And then lastly, we have our kunan holding hands. And then that will be it for the pairs of hands. A lot of pairs of hands. I'm not even sure how many there are, to be honest with you. I, mean, I think like at least five pairs of hands. Now let's move into the effects. All right, to kick things off, we're gonna start off with the kunan. Now to put this on, you just simply remove this piece here. 
grab your hand, and there you go. Easy peasy. All right, next up we have the wind shuriken here. Now to use this is grab this hand here, the one I was showing you earlier, and you just slide it in like so. And then there, there you go, just like that. Okay. Now moving into the fireball effect, which looks really good actually. There it is here. And this does come with a stand. And to put this on, you just go like so. And there it is, looks great. Last but not least, we have the Chidori effect, which is different from the one from the Shippuden Sasuke that I unfortunately do not have. Now for this one, again, you're just going to have it like so, and then you just put it in. And then there you go, just like that. So with all that out of the way, let's now get into the conclusion. All right, everyone, to conclude this review, again, as I mentioned in the beginning of the review, yes, this is definitely worth a pickup. If you're a fan of Naruto, it's a no-brainer. If you're an SH Figure Arts fan in general, definitely check out this figure because you may be surprised and you may end up collecting the whole line. So yes, check this figure out. All the accessories, the face plates, the hands, the articulation, everything is pretty much great on this figure. Now I am going to be doing random shout outs for my subscribers. So if you're subscribed, make sure you're always watching until the very end of the review so I can give you a shout out. Today's shout out is going to be Diabolical524. Thank you for watching my reviews. Thank you for subscribing. I did see your comment. And because of you, I'm going to be starting this random subscriber shout outs for my action figure reviews. So again, Diabolical, shout out to you and thank you. Now to everyone else from one collector to another, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.